Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come and like and share me. Come and take a seat. Come and like and share me. Your boy done switched up on you. Come and like and share me. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time to this channel, run over there and subscribe for me. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then, welcome to this great family. Now that you're part of us, we want you to fit in. And this is how you fit in. And we do this every day because it helps us grow. We need for you to join us. Comment. Comment. Comment like a share and don't for the team. Comment like a share and don't for the team. Comment like a share and don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to don't forget to comment like a share. Okay, you guys, check this out, baby. We're gonna go ahead and pray and we'll get into the good dance. Here we go. Amen. How y'all doing today? How you doing today? How you doing today? Y'all, guess what? So we can go ahead and get started into this goodness. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is here to help us out. Because, baby, these stuffed peppers, I know they're going to be hot and delicious. So, therefore, let's see if he's nice and refreshing. Yes, he is. Okay, you guys, today... For the food, we have ham loaf stuffed jalapenos and deviled eggs. That's what we got. Over here to the side, we ain't got nothing but Big Ben, honey. You guys, this is a lighter mukbang, but it is delicious. I promise you. So, let's go ahead. Here's one of the deviled eggs here in the middle. I sit up here on top. Oh, it's so cutesy, cutesy, cutesy. Here you go. First bite. Mmm. Mmm. They good. They're real good. Now, you guys, this here is a recipe that my mom used to always make when I was a child. And it's a ham loaf. I'm sure a lot of you have had this because it's really, really, you know what I'm saying, um, prevalent, so to speak. People make this and bring it to like finger food events, like parties, you know, a little ceremonies and stuff like that, baby showers, that kind of stuff. But here it is. Let's see if you can see it. It's a ham loaf. I'm not a real lover of cream cheese, but it is really, really good in this right here. And it's cream cheese, wild onions, uh, and ham. That's how you put it in. I put a little salt and pepper and accent in mine to give it more flavor. And I just stuffed it in a jalapeno, red and green jalapenos. Mmm. 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 -hmm. And it's good. It really is good. Because, like, cream cheese, like, I hate cream cheese and sushi. Oh my God. I hate it. I hate cream cheese and sushi. It's just not good to me. I don't know why. But I just don't like that taste in sushi. But I love it like this. You guys, this is something very, very simple mm. and easy for you guys to do if you want to try it. Like I said, we just get you a bag, I mean a box, like a block of cream cheese. Let it sit out and like get room temperature so you can kind of handle it a little bit. And you take you some wild onion. I got Mexican wild, onion, wild onions because they're bigger. But you can get regular wild onions. You know, with the green stalks on top. Mmm. Mmm. Cut it about halfway down. You know, slice it small across the um, stalks, the green stalks on the end. And then take you up. I use a pack of ham. Like you buy in those packs. Like cut up like sandwich meat. That's how. That's what I use. And about three fourths of that pack, I mix it all together. 
I saw that. Mix it all together, and you got this. And then, like, you can eat it with crackers. You can eat it whatever you want to eat with. Here you go, another bite. You can eat it with whatever it is that you'd like to eat it with. It's really, really good. Mmm. And it's cream cheese. Mm -mm -mm. And then I just paired it with some double eggs. Something else you know really like. Mmm. Mmm. I ain't really want to have I'm not really, really heavy mukbang today. Again, y'all know I absolutely love eating the big meals. You know, the pork, the giant neck bones, all that kind of stuff. I adore those type of meals. I do. But like I said, I am conscious that, you know, this is a social media platform. And you guys come and you see me every day. So I always try to make sure that I add in, you know, vegetables all the time. And, you know, sometimes do lighter dishes. Like the oysters or like this. You know, I always include like a salad in something instead of mashed potatoes and stuff like that. Do, try to hear the green one, y'all. To try to balance and let you know that our health and what we eat it is very, very important. It is. And for some reason here lately, I've lost weight. I don't know why myself. Here lately, it's just been more on my mind. You know, <clears throat> but y'all know, we use, oh, by the way, I love green onions. That's why you see them everywhere and see me picking them up, putting them on things. I love green onions. The wild green onions, I love their taste. Mmm. But that's why you see all of a sudden we picked up in like seafood bowls and stuff like that. That's because you guys, it is more health conscious to eat seafood than it is to eat all the big homemade meals. It just is. When it comes to when it comes to the terms of, you know, trying to balance your weight and keep your weight together. But anywho, I hope you guys are enjoying it because it's really, really good. It really, really is. It's simple to make. But y'all, check this out. This is March. You guys, we starting out the start of this week. Today is Monday. Happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday. You guys, today is March the 2nd. We have 19 days to our anniversary. Oh, and we'll be done been on YouTube a whole year, y'all. And some of you, I have some of my followers that have been with me here pretty much the whole time. Mm-hmm. Old school. Been with me a long time. The McNeils, they've been with me a long time. At first, it was just a wife. And then... Later on, she convinced the husband to come on, and he come in more than she do now. You know what I'm saying? But I know she's there. I know the love is there. Della B has been with me a long, long time. I have a lot of you that have been with me a long time. We really have. I don't know if she's still actively watching. I know every now and again, she comes through. But if Shay Hudson is still on the channel, she is my oldest follower. I know that for sure. But I love you all. I don't care when you came, honey. I love all of you. I do. I'm just saying it's been a whole year, and I do have some followers that if they haven't been with me a year, it's very, very close. It's very, very close. I got some been here the whole time, y'all. And it has been a ride. It has, y'all. I remember when I started the channel, Baby, like, I don't know, because I've never been a shy person. I've never been a shy person, ever. But it was like, I couldn't, like, fully get my personality out in the beginning. I don't know. I guess I had to get used to being on the screen, I guess. But, baby, 
The more I done it, the more it built. Mm-hmm. And somewhere down along the lines down, it all came out. And I cannot, I cannot not give it to you the way it is naturally every day. I got to give it to you how I am naturally every day. I really, really don't. But I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. We're coming up on our year anniversary, y'all. We're already over 25K. Mm. And you guys are amazing. I look at our channel daily. And you guys, I mean, we have 25,000 followers. Obviously, I don't get all 25,000 to watch at the same time every day. But y'all, y'all watch like... For real, y'all watch like we got 50,000 followers. For real. And you know, our views are really, really good. And I appreciate you guys so much that you guys are simply amazing people. All 25,000 y'all work together. So keep them views up. And I appreciate it. I really, really do. I appreciate y'all so much. So, mm, but I can tell you this, I don't know, depending on how I feel, but y'all, I'm going to tell you one thing for sure. Mm, we're going to have some seafood in the next couple of days. I told y'all three or four days ago that I wanted some seafood. I want some seafood. And I'm going to go out there and get some out of my freezer in the next couple of days. And put some seafood on the screen. Because I want to eat some seafood. I do. And I guess I could have before now. But I got the rolling. I got the rolling. Baby, them pork. And them uh, soul food. Uh, uh, them soul food me is honey. Baby, them meals get to getting good. They get to getting good, honey. And you just get to cooking. And you just get to cooking and moving, honey. Oh. I, am, I love me some soul food. Y'all already know that. Mm-hmm. I can tell you this. As long as you follow me, you can always look for some good home cooking on the Lips Channel. Because I'm a cook, baby. Because I prefer to eat home-cooked meals than meals where I'm going out. You know, something I had the opportunity to put my hands in to make it, you know, Something that I know something about where it came from, what it started from. I don't know. But I grew up eating home cooked meals all my life. You know, my mother cooked. And so I'm in the habit of that. You know, I was telling somebody the other day, which I know we all are different. We all do different things. But for me and my family, ham, like the ham with a bone in it, I prefer the shank. But you know, a pan that you're going to bake, like a real ham. And chitterlings, greens, those things are like staples of a any social meal that we would have, you know, when I was growing up. If we had a big dinner, you can believe that chitlins, ham, dressing, greens, um, potato salad, devil eggs, spaghetti, those things were staples in our family. Them things are gonna be there no matter what. Hot water cornbread or skillet cornbread. Cornbread. If we had a gathering where there was gonna be, you know, family, those things are gonna be there. Unless it was like a barbecue or something like that. But if it was a dinner, somebody gonna make them things and bring them. So, me, y'all, I always, always, if I cook it for y'all or for my family, whatever. If I bake a ham out of my freezer, you can best believe in the next week or so, I'm gonna replace that ham. I keep chitlins in my freezer year round, both in bags, cooked, and in packages, buckets, whatever I got. Year round. I don't never be without them, ever. Listen to me, Legion. Listen to me, ever. I always, when I cook greens and stuff for y'all, I cook, like, 
a lot of them. And when I cook a lot of them, um, I always put them up like in bags and freeze them. And I keep this stuff all the time. All the time. Y'all another one? Wanna see that one? But anywho, how are y'all doing today on this fabulous Monday? I hope that you guys are doing amazing. I'm not sending you to work today. With a heavy stomach. I'm sending you to work today with a nice, healthy feeling something. For real. Mmm. Because this is very filling. Uh, cream cheese. It's very filling. It is. Um, y'all, hubby just told me today what the topic for Therapy Thursday is going to be. It's going to be good. And while I'm saying that, let me say this, y'all. On Therapy Thursday, excuse me, y'all, hubby and I pick a topic. When we did the first one two weeks ago, we asked we asked you guys to give us some suggestions. A lot of you did. And hmm. let me just make sure I let you guys know this. Some topics obviously we will reject because we don't want to be some topics like politics or things that are going on in the world where the churches and stuff like that. We won't bother that kind of stuff. Because those things are a little more in-home personal things that you just don't talk to everybody about. I'm going to tell you, if you don't know, if you're younger or if you had not figured out and you're running into problems in these areas, politics and religion are things that you hold closer to your, you know, closer to your, your, uh, Closer to your, your chest, so to speak. You hold him. You hold them. Because the biggest thing that can ruin a friendship in a lot of cases is politics and religion. Leave that alone. But anyway, but the topics that we do choose or that you guys give us and we do. You guys, this is only our opinion about these things. This is nothing that we have set down and read journals and memos about. It's just strictly things that are going on in the world. And it's just our opinion of what it is that we're talking about. That's it. Simply an opinion. We are trying to make that segment of the show be really, really great. And we're going to mess up. We are. But y'all... Don't think that we would ever get on here and do anything that would be or that we feel like is offensive or offensive or disrespectful to whomever that we're talking about, because that's not the case. Well, anywho, y'all, have y'all been keeping up with the Atlanta Housewives? Let me do it again. Honey, them women on that show, that is too much, honey. They are. Nene is on this come to Jesus type thing, but still just as messy as ever. Now, where they have Eva's storyline, I'm like it. She didn't have a baby. Now, her baby shower that she had on the episode... The newest episode, latest episode, she had a baby shower. It was like a sunflower baby shower. It was Caillou, honey. It was Caillou. Yes, it was. Mm-hmm. It was cute. They were very entertaining. Portia, since she went through what she went through with Dennis last year or last season, she seemed to, y'all, she, she seemed to be done growed up a lot. Of course, candy, just candy. You know, 
she got the most money out of all of them. So I think Candy is like, I don't know, maybe third or fourth, like with the most money in the entire franchise, like all the cities, like New York, New Jersey, Potomac, all of them. Like Candy's like third or fourth with the most money out of all of the whole entire franchise. So, you know, she's just chilling. On the show, she's just getting ready to have her baby. But that baby is already here because I'm a part of her fan club and stuff. So, uh, you know you know what I'm saying? Y'all know. I follow her on social media. And she has like this text me thing where she texts us, you know, like a fan club. So, obviously, I've already seen the baby. But on the show, they just not going to get to have the baby. But anywho, y'all, but Kenya and Mark Daly are monopolizing the show right now. Because, and then the thing of it is, y'all, this right here, what's going on on the show now with Kenya and Mark. I cannot let you miss it. I cannot let you be behind. Honey, this is what they brought Kenya back for right here. So baby's got my nose wide open. There they are. We got my nose wide open. For real, for real. It really does. And on the show, they just announced that they were, gonna, that they were getting a divorce. Mm -mm -mm. Behind a function that they were having. And Mark wanted them to quit like filming. Or at least that's what they're using, you know, to on the show to show the separation. But you know, but anywho, honey. But that's what they wanted Kenya back for. They did. Kenya's storyline is hot right now, honey. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Mm. Her little daughter beautiful, though. Her little daughter cute. Y'all. We just set them in here and had us a healthy. Yeah, I think this is pretty healthy. A healthy mukbang today. A healthy mukbang, mukbang. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just know that I'm trying to show y'all love y'all. Because y'all, we do have to have a balance. We really do. We have to have a balance. I know I'm very, very poor with. Especially the bath, like with the salt. I know that, y'all. I'm working on it. But I promise you guys, I promise you, all of my numbers are in line with my health. You know what I'm saying? They are. My blood pressure is good. My cholesterol at one time had gotten a little bad, but it snapped right back. You know, it was off one month. Three months later, it was back together. So, all my numbers are in line. I'm good. But I do know that I tend to like things on the sodium side. I do. I love that taste of sodium. I really, really do. But my doctor told me that it is better for me. Mmm. To cook the sodium in the food, then it is to sprinkle the sodium on top. Which I understand, but when I'm cooking the food, my husband is not a salt person. No. So I have to cook the food. You know, I have to cook the food where it's pleasurable for him and not so salty and or uh, don't have the sodium taste. Because if you can taste the sodium in the food, he's going to say it's salty. I don't know. If he can taste the sodium in there, he's going to say it's salty, no matter what it is. Hell. So, I have to cook the food both times. Like, right there where I wanted it. But not there where I wanted it. To make sure that, you know, he can eat it as well. Or that he can enjoy it as well. Mm-hmm. So, 
I had to have me a little more sour tank. But I'm working on it. Thank you so much for y'all always on me about it. Mm-hmm. March the 23rd is the anniversary, y'all. March the 21st! It's March 21st. We have been doing this thing a year. And y'all, we way over um, 2 million views on this channel. Way over. Maybe two, two, maybe two and a half million views by now. I haven't looked in a while. But we was like at 2.2 .2 million when I looked before. When I hadn't looked in a while, y'all. I'm telling you, it's just been fun. This has been a phenomenal, phenomenal ride, y'all. For real. God assembled me the perfect le the perfect legion. I love you guys so, so much. You guys are just simply amazing. Ah, just simply amazing. Y'all, this has been good. I hope y'all tried the uh, the cream cheese. My mother always called it a ham loaf. With that ham and the wild onions and the cream cheese. And like I said, you can eat it with crackers. You can eat it with like uh, like uh, what the Tostitos, corn chip kind of thing. You know, you can eat it like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's a great dish. So whip together to take this event that you forgot you're supposed to be in. And you don't want to go empty ham. Get you a block of cream chicken, a pack of ham, and some wild onions. And stir that joint together. It was a great party favorite. Trust me. But anyway, y'all, we're finna go. We're finna go, we're finna go, we're finna go. Y'all, anniversary is March 21st. March 21st. Y'all, we've been, been doing this thing a year. But anyway, I love you guys so, so much. And I'm going to see you tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoy. I really hope you guys enjoy. A little healthier side of the month on. Because we're going to be doing something. And we're going to get some seafood in the next few days. I cannot go any longer. Mm -mm. I want me some king crab, honey. I may, I, look, don't be surprised if I come in a video and ain't got nothing that people can't crab. No more just can't crab. But anyway, y'all finna go. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for being here. To all my new legion. I appreciate you being here so, so much. We love you. We love you already. You're a part of us. Me and my legion want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. Mwah. We love you so, so, so much. You could have chosen to be anywhere else in the world. But you chose to be here with us and we love you for it. Thank you so, so, so much. Mwah. So I'm my existing legion. You know what's up. Hold on. You know what's up. Mm. You know what's up. Mm. <laughs> Y'all finna go. Y'all know I love you. Mwah. And I'm going to see you tomorrow with another video. Big Man says good night. <laughs> Big Ben says good night. Mmm. 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 Big Ben's nice and refreshing once again. Y'all gonna see y'all tomorrow. I love you guys so, so much. Bye bye. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. When obstacles come up in your life, no matter what they are, always remember there's always more than one way home. All you're trying to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. Ha <laughs> ha. Bye bye. Mwah. Ooh. Y'all, that was so fulfilling. It really, really was. It really, really was. I decided I was gonna start showing. I eat a lot of healthy stuff like this off camera. Just at the house eating. You know, like snacks between mukbangs or like when I normally have a, I'm going to be eating a big mukbang at that evening or whenever we record that day, but I'm hungry. Little snacks like this. I eat this kind of stuff all the time. I just decided I'm going to start showing y'all some of it because y'all need to see that just the big old gluttonous meals. Well, I really don't have gluttonous meals, but I do eat large meals that I eat on the camera daily. I want you to see that 
there's a balance to it. There's a really, really a balance. Um, and so I said I was going to show it to you. But anyway, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys again for being the greatest people in the world. Y'all, anniversaries of March 21st, March the 21st. Make sure that you're present and ready to listen on Therapy Thursday. Hubby and I have a great topic. Y'all, it's going to be great. We love you guys so, so much. We love you so, so, so much. And we're going to see y'all. I'm going to see you tomorrow with another video. <laughs> what did you think was coming? I love you guys so, so much. Bye-bye. Mwah.